Okay, so we know many of you have been monitoring the news, but this is what you don't usually do. You don't know which of the stories are on the front and back pages of the newspapers featured. So this is what we do. We we'll bring you the electronic versions. As always, they've been summarized on the news photo major online. Uh, we have the front page of the Deadly Graphic Mama V. Yeah. Police car dealers in big fights over unregistered vehicles. Story says that there's controversy between the Vehicle and Asset Dealers Association of Ghana and the police over the recent exercise to impound vehicles with DV and DP trade plates belonging to members of the association. Uh, this is a story you can read in detail if you get hold of the Daily Graphic newspaper. Uh, we're waking up this morning, uh, most people really, uh, to the news that Kudalo is new IGP. Sapon is a new head of immigration. So President John Mahama has appointed the Commissioner of Police uh, in charge of operations, John Kudalo, as acting inspector general of police, official sources said the president has also appointed Felix Sapong, the deputy director of operations of the Ghana Immigration Service, to act as the director of immigration. For those of us who know Mr. John Kudalo, he is a very handsome person, very responsive and we are happy that he's acting IGP, but I hope that the acting would, they would erase the acting mm -hmm. and make him Substantive. Inspector General All right. Police. We'll see how that goes <laughs> for him. Uh, Focal Petitions National Council of MPP and apparently uh, embattled National Chairman of the MPP, Paul Afoko, on, oh, he's still now the embattled National Chairman. <sighs> okay, that was a, a suspended, I think. Uh, Afoko on Monday petitioned the National Council of the Party against constitutional breaches that led to what he described as the usurpation of his post. Mm. So he's done it within the 21 days, I guess, because yeah. the, the, the... You know, all the things that were going to skirmishes, he was not the one doing it. This is his formal. <laughs> so it's, as far as all the calls for him to use a party structure, he's yeah. using the party so structures. So now he's using the party no, structures. No, he's always used the party structures, I guess, because no, I mean, all the things that went round yeah. were, not, were, not, were not him. So, but now he's actually, so does he accept the No, he's never he's done suspended? anything previously. He's never usurped the parties. But does he accept now that, because remember um, during the EC dialogue when he went there, he said he, he had gone there in his capacity as chairman of the party. Mm, but you can Even see also from the says, news report that they said he's a national chairman. But I'm happy because, you know, uh, what the issue had been and inside sources within the party will tell you it's a constitutional and legal matter mm. so it's good that he's going through the mm. process let's see how it unfolds i hope that they would pay attention to him because they said he had not been available let's see how mm. that goes i hope he's restored as a party chairman so that uh, yeah. peace prevails in the party really amidu punches an ass over judicial expose and we know this has been trending <laughs> as mamavi likes saying trending uh, likes trending. She doesn't go on social media too. I like using the social media <laughs> jargons. Trending the last 12 <laughs> hours. Oh, my, don't let me laugh. Um, we have the front page of Daily Guard. Morgan. The Daily Guard newspaper. NPP chairman arrested over murder. Uh, says the Ashanti Regional Police Command, and the way they say MPP chairman, like is the Ogboro chairman. <laughs> uh, but the Ashanti Regional Police Command has arrested the Aswasi constituency chairman of the NPP, Isaac Brenya, and several others in connection with the murder of Sadiq mm. Abubakar, aka Ogundi. Mm. They say uh, he's to assist in investigations. Okay. He's yeah. not being. He's not been liable or anything. He's just assisting investigation. Yeah, this is what I heard um, the police command say. Mm. And we uh, know the police command in Ashanti is led by... <laughs> Kofi Bwache. Okay. Yeah, man. He'll yeah, find man. the killer. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, Rasta. Yeah, man. Uh, Kudalo takes over as uh, IGP, and uh, we know that. Front page of the Finder has on the front page, Power Bar to Drink, <laughs> $9 million oil every month. <laughs> Can we afford? <laughs> uh, I think we can't. Well, the story says that the 225 megawatts power batch is expected to consume about 30,000 metric tons of heavy fuel oil every month at a cost of between $7 million and $9 million, depending on the current crude oil price movements. But how much are we spending? Uh, Currently presently? on the other thermal exactly. plants we have. I guess we have to find You out. never know. This could be way cheaper than you know mm, i don't that. think so yeah 
But I would say, I mean, the thing is not here. Let the badge come. <laughs> I hear it's in Turkey, the Turkish waters now. Oh, no, it's in the Tunisian We're waters. We're tracking here. We're Tunisia. Tra it will be here on December 17th. <laughs> That's what we're told. Aren't we... Aren't we good were we, no, were we not supposed to be expecting it? Oh, yes, that was before. Uh, 17 no, that date of November passed, or so? Mama. That date is passed. Mida to make ECG credible of taker. Oh, Mida to make ECG credible of taker, according to a CEO. And any company that succeeds in securing the concession to operate the ECG, uh, apparently from January 2017, will be expected to invest not less than 200 million US dollars. Right, a year. Uh, on Hill, Kudalo is acting IGP, and we have the front page of the BNFT, Mama. Mm. And price hikes could test deregulation. So whether by design or hap... Okay, how do you pronounce this? Okay, I'll just say whether by design or happenings, Ghana's petroleum price deregulation, <laughs> which kicked in in July, appears to have been perfectly uh, timed. Crude oil prices have been at an all-year low, and prices at the pump keep... Uh, plummeting by the minutes. I think this is a, a piece that you can read in detail mm. uh, and then get a better understanding. Also, PEF explores new financing scheme. Uh, that's the Private Enterprise Federation. Uh, it has joined the list of several other trade unions and development organizations to explore the possibility of setting up a financing scheme to provide long-term financing facilities to private enterprises in the bid to win them off the dependence on credits from commercial banks. Great, 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 great. We have some other news stories, though. We have, first have to uh, touch base with Major Online. We're looking at two kids dying after falling into a Galamsey pit. Quite tragic. Mm -hmm. Not quite. Very tragic. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't like it when, you know, children get heads. Mm. Let me help you with this, yeah. then. Yeah, Thank I you. This. Um, the lifeless bodies of two kids. Mama, have you watch. Uh, have been retrieved after they fell into a pit dug in search of Mawavi don't go away in precious minerals. The kids, a male and a female, whose name was given as Christiana Budu. Oh, I think that the reporters didn't do well. We're both a year and a half old. The tragic incident happened Monday afternoon in the Adanse North District of the Ashanti region. A 21-year-old mother of Christiana Budu said, while engaged in Galamse, they left the kids to idle, playing around open pit. She responded to a loud scream for another mother who discovered her son's lifeless body in the pit. Panic-stricken, Rita abandoned her search for gold and ran to also find her daughter floating in the pit. Tragic. She said and explained that she ran to call for help. It was too late though. The kids were declared dead on arrival at the hospital. She said she was forced to engage in Galamse after her husband abandoned her to fend for the kids alone. I think this is really tragic. But uh, you including know, the, the news the, about the, the, the thing about of the, young. the thing about parents going through struggles and taking their children along, we're supposed to be protecting them. And they're not supposed to see when you're struggling, when you're trying so hard to put food on the table. So why do you take them to the farm when you know they won't do anything? <laughs> you know, they're just why do you take them to, yeah. I'm not even talking about whether it's, Ill, it's legal or not mm. to be doing what you're doing, like searching for gold in a place like that. But why don't you leave the children out of the picture? You know what I'm saying? They are supposed to be protected. Just um, brings into sharp focus parental upbringing yeah. and also the plights that uh, a lot more single mothers or single parents or even parents find themselves mm. who perhaps uh, don't, have, don't have the... Uh, the, the, the well without to be able to cater for their children. Yeah. Just, just quite tragic. That I reminds me also of my kids, though. Um, they need something. They just tell you, you say you don't have money. Did they you say, buy the bicycle, by yeah, the I did. way? Yeah, I did. Okay. I, did. And I, they, I need to see uh, a picture, the picture of it. Okay. Uh, and then they tell me, oh, I should go to Unique, Unique, Unique Bank. No, UT Bank. <laughs> You, go, you, you know, don't have the money, go and borrow. Yeah, they said you go to UT Bank, there's money there. You know, they, uh, when they said it's there, in, is it 48 hours? No, they tell me. I should go to UT Bank, the money is there. Yeah, sometimes kids are fascinating, but yeah. they don't know. And it just reminds yeah. me of uh, how you said that uh, sometimes the children they want the things, they don't know how you. Yeah, and, you and I, I, I think that things. as parents, we also don't have to tell them how, how we get it. Mm. The struggle is for us. Yes. And they are supposed to enjoy. Wow. I, at some point, my mother had to take care of me 
by herself. I, I'm, I don't know how she did it. Yeah. So we are supposed to be protected. Wow. Children is our focus later on on my banner. Uh, here this morning. We're so, talking about you know. child labor because some children in our country are, are in some of the worst forms as far as their sufferings are concerned. Yeah. But I love all the speech that you gave. That's that that I've been yeah. talk. Really? That I've been talk. When you were child, you would, your mother wouldn't have talked like this. Uh, CTFM online. Let's see what you have there, Mamavi. Yeah. So Mahama charges police uh, to find NPP supporters killer. Minority to sue Collins Dowder for amending standing. Martin Amidu Fai's back at Anas's uh, vows to reveal more. And look out for more today because he says he has something on Anas's organization, Tiger IPI. Mm. I'm waiting for that write-up because definitely it will be, it will be a so write-up. So what's he doing? Discrediting the organization or I saying... I don't know. We wait to see because okay. he says he has, you know... He'd, and he said he was waiting for... A later date or something but mm. because of the reactions yesterday to his piece he's bringing it out so we're waiting for it today I can't believe he, like is he holding us like we're always when he comes up with something we're jumping on it the media likes to feed on information don't mm. we? okay so that's the man oh please put it on it so that we can see his face I kind of like him Mahama appoints Yeah, that's the Kodalo. man. Look at him. C.O.P. John Kodalo yeah, as yeah. acting I This one reminds me of one of the films. Uh -huh. the, the villain in the films. <laughs> this killer. You but know, you know blue man and killer. <laughs> I, I hope that he won't change. Because if he changes... Oh, why is he going? He's acting. He can't change. You when know, you're acting, you don't change. Those, when you call him, he when picks. When you are acting, you, oh, you don't call change. him. Yeah, you okay. Because yeah. when you call him... Are you mean, when you call him, he picks. And he'll give you somebody to talk to. I'm I sure, like that thing about I'm him. I'm sure relationship and, and communication then say, is always important Tell him I said, <laughs> and I, I like that thing about him. I think he'll be a cool IGP. I know him very well. Like though. an IGP I with swag. Very well. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, but to the IGP who is retired, uh, we wish you the best. Enjoy your retirement. I mm. think that's what... Um, it, was, it was a good service, though, and I love his strategy about placing policemen in vantage points. The point visibility. Up. That's uh -huh, what he brought. Visibility. Yeah, he brought yeah. that. Yeah, he's called uh, Muhammad Al Hassan. Yes, yeah, Mr. So Muhammad Al Hassan. And we say thank you very much for that very uh, concept you introduced in our uh, policing in our country. Yeah. I really loved it because he made the police more accessible, if not in every community in our country, but at least in some of the vantage areas mm. or points or cities. Yeah. Uh, it made them more accessible. And the police became a, lo lo a lot more friendlier. Um, during your period yeah. of um, your administration, and I should say that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Roland lost uh, some very important document, by yeah. the way, during your tenure, and your police officers helped shop, him shop, out. Shop, 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 Let's shop. do BBC before we run off and make way for Baba Tando, who's got sports. Nigeria's anti-corruption chief fired Buhari doing it like people in the past knew him to. Uh, Nigerian President Mohamed Muhammad Buhari sacks the head of the anti-corruption agency, Ibrahim Lamode, but gives no reason for his removal. You know, that's what presidents do. They can fire you like that. I mean, you're fired. <laughs> I don't owe anybody any explanation. Yeah. Okay, so that'll be it. Let's read some messages. Um, I love your show. Very interactive. Um, very interactive. Your system in Ghana works exactly as ours in Freetown. Oh, you're watching us from Freetown, and you are Brian Decker. Texting from Adonkia Village. What are you doing in that village in Sierra Leone? Freetown, Sierra Leone. And Adonkia uh, Village resident, Mr. Decker. Please have a good day. And I want to read this one also. Um, uh, I love this. Uh, okay. It says, Ghanaian journalists are always talking politics. Politics all the time. Must it always be politics all the time? Abba. Uh, and that's from um, Mumin from Wa. Mm -hmm. Mumin, aside with who we were talking about. But do you see the much. response? Mumin, I, I bet to, you know, differ a little bit. Do you get the response when we do politics and people uh, phone in and have their say on it? Ghanaians love politics. That's what we fail to appreciate. Mm. And this one yeah. is from Malik Bolik. Malik, this one, I know, he said, Mamavi, please don't always overshadow my man Rola. Allow him to shine white. <laughs> Take him a shine out of Okay, me. cool. She's dressed better than off. me. All right, I'm she's off. off. Okay, I'm also going off. And uh, we're taking a break.